Hi everyone. Um, so today I'm going to be discussing the Tongva lands in Los Angeles, California. Um, I was raised in LA. Um, I've lived there most of my life, and I found um, learning about Tongva people has been extremely interesting and beautiful. Um, Tongva people inhabited most of the current Greater Los Angeles uh, basin, um, known as Tong, uh, Tovangar, and were there for many generations. During the past 15 to 20 years, many people whose ancestors were Tongva people have worked very hard to reclaim their heritage in LA and gave people the opportunity to learn more about the history of the city um, compared to what we know it to be today. Um, growing up in the sprawl, our education about Native people stopped mostly at how they worked with Spanish missionaries and never really touched on who was there first, what happened to them during that time, um, and where they are now. Um, so in 2021, the city of LA had a large project on display by various artists, um, Native artists that were photographed by Kara Romero, who is Chemehuevi Native, um, also a LA region Native. And um, she just wanted to highlight Native artists and their heritage in the city. The project consisted of a series of billboards throughout the city and each of which displayed an iconic image um, and put them in public space, uh, spaces for everyone to see and reflect on. So the first image that we'll see is um, by Wishoyo Alvitre, uh, aptly named Tongvaland. And in this image, we will almost automatically recognize this as the way the Hollywood sign used to look as Hollywood land. And it's a reminder that Tongva people were there first, not Hollywood. I just love this image so much. Um, the next we have is by El Freik Manriquez called Coyote Drops the Goblet. And this is an image um, displaying commentary on the Catholic missionaries um, and kind of the the way that they took over on the West Coast during that time period. Um, it's very powerful. And then we have this one uh, named Cara, or sorry, it's by Cara Romero um, called Wishoyo. And in this, you'll see Wishoyo Alvitre, who we just mentioned, um, being photographed in traditional native garb. And she's actually in the water off the coast of Long Beach. Um, it's such a beautiful image. Um, and I think it would probably be way more powerful in person. Um, the next uh, is my favorite uh, by River Garza called What the City Gave Us. And in this image, River uh, speaks largely to what kind of like L.A. represents. We see, you know, Los Angeles is sacred and all these other images and words, but kind of like the lasting impact of what missionaries did to Native people um, when they came to the United States on the West Coast. Um and then the next one we have is by Cara Romero again. Um, it's an image of, um, it's called Mercedes, an image of her friend Mercedes Dorame, um, who is Tonga native. Um, and in this image, she is floating in the sacred waters um, in a nature preserve, the Kuruvunga Preserve in Culver City. Um, it's actually kind of like right next to a high school. It's a beautiful place and I'm so glad it's still exist today. Um, and then the last image that we have is by Cara Romero. It's called Mitzla Puvungna. Um, and this is a um, sacred land, um, part of the Tongva people. And in this image, we see Mitzla um, Aguilera wearing traditional native garb in the sacred space. And I love this image because it's it's got the palm trees in the background. And of course, we have the airplane taking off which is just like so LA and I think that this project was really powerful and I'm really hoping that this not only op opens opportunity for other Native people to do more work but I really hope it gives an opportunity to those people to display in the city at large um, as part of an activist project. Thank you for listening.